The Lady of Shalott by Alfred Lord Tennyson On either side the river lie, Long fields of barley and of rye, That clothed the wood and met the sky, And through the field the road ran by, To many a towered Camelot. And up and down the people go, Gazing where the lilies blow, Round an island there below, The island of Shalott. Willows whiten, aspens quiver, Little breezes dusk and shiver, through the wave that runs forever by the island in the river, flowing down to Camelot. Four gray walls and four gray towers overlook a space of flowers, and the silent island bowers, the Lady of Shalott. By the margin, willow veiled, slid the heavy barges trailed by slow horses, and inhaled the shallop flit of sink and sailed, skimming down to Camelot. But who hath seen her wave her hand, or at the casement seen her stand, or is she known in all the land, the Lady of Shalott? Only reapers, reaping early, in among the bearded barley, hear a song that echoes cheerily from the river, winding clearly down to towered Camelot. And by the moon the reaper weary, piling sheaves in uplands airy, listening whispers, tis a fairy, the Lady of Shalott. There she weaves by night and day a magic web with colors gay. She has heard a whisper say, a curse is on her if she stay to look down on Camelot. She knows not what the curse may be, and so she weaveth steadily, and little other care hath she, the Lady of Shalott. And moving through a mirror clear that hangs before her all the year, shadows of the world appear. There she sees the highway near, winding down to Camelot. There the river eddy whirls, and the surly village churls, and the red cloaks of market girls pass onward from Shalott. Sometimes the troops of damsels glad, an abbot in an ampling pad, sometimes a curly shepherd lad, or long-haired page in crimson clad, pass onward from Shalott. And sometimes through the mirror blue, the rites come knighting two and two. She has no loyal knights and true, the lady of Shalott. But in her web she still delights to weave the mirror's magic sights. For often through the silent nights, a funeral with plumes and lights and music passed to Camelot. Or when the moon was overhead, came two young lovers lately wed. I am half sick of shadows, said the Lady of Shalott. A bow shot from her bower eaves, he rode between the barley sheaves. The sun came dazzling through the leaves and rose upon the brazen reefs, a boat to Lancelot. A red cross knight for every mood to a lady in his shield that sparkled in the yellow field beside Rogue Shalott. The gemmy bridle glittered free like some branch of stars we see hung in the golden galaxy beside Rogue Shalott. And from his blazing boulder slung a mighty silver bugle hung, and as he rode his armor rung beside Rogue Shalott. All in the blue unclouded weather, thick jeweled shone the saddle leather. The helmet and the helmet feather burned like one burning flame together as he rode to Camelot. As often through the purple nights, below the starry clusters bright, a bearded meteor, burning bright, moves over to Shalot. She left the web, she left the loom, she made three paces through the room. She saw the water lily bloom, she saw the helmet in the plume, she looked down to Camelot. Out flew the web and floated wide. The mirror cracked from side to side. The curse has come upon me, cried the Lady of Shalott. In the stormy eastward straining, the pale yellow woods were waning, the broad stream in his banks complaining, heavily the low sky raining over tower Camelot. Down she came and found a boat, beneath a willow left afloat, and around the prow she wrote, the Lady of Shalott. Down the river's dim expanse, like some bold seer in a trance, seeing in his own mischance, with a glassy countenance, did she look to Camelot. And at the closing of the day, she loosed the chain, and down she lay. The broad stream bore her far away, the Lady of Shalott. Lying robed in snowy white, that loosely flew to left and right, the leaves upon her falling not light, through the noises of the night, she floated down to Camelot. As the boat had wound along between the willowy hills and the fields among, they heard her singing her last song, the Lady of Shalott. Heard a carol, mournful, holy, chanted loudly, chanted lowly, 
Till her blood was frozen slowly, and her eyes were dark and holy, turned to tower at Camelot. For ere she reached upon the tide the first house by the waterside, singing in her song she died, the Lady of Shalom. Under tower and balcony, by garden wall and gallery, a gleaming shape she floated by, a course between the houses high, silent into Camelot. Out upon the wharfs they came, knight and burgher, lord and dame, and around the proud they read her name, the Lady of Shalott. Who is this, and what is he? And in the lap, lighted palace near, died the sound of royal cheer. They all crossed themselves for fear, all the knights at Camelot. But Lancelot mused a little space. He said, she has a lovely face. God in his mercy lend her grace, the Lady of Shalott.